joined the greatest team in sports to get the very best of Nike. In 1987, the Nike Air Max 1 debuted with visible air in its heel, allowing fans more than just the feel of air sole comfort, suddenly they could see it. Since then, next-generation Nike Air Max shoes have become a hit with athletes and collectors by offering striking color combinations and reliable, lightweight cushioning. Has Air Max gone too far? A textile and synthetic upper gives comfortable support. Molded lines in the upper appear to radiate out from the sides, creating a wave-like design. Rubber coverage on the outsole gives durable traction. Translucent rubber on the heel highlights the air unit. Reviewers seem split on their take regarding comfort and fit. However, most are certain it delivers excellent cushioning and stylish finish that guarantees compliments. Issues on the bulky rubber sole and breathability were also brought out. Majority of reviewers were satisfied with the Nike Air Max 720 cushioning right out of the box. A large number of customers find the design futuristic and eye-catching. Many were pleased with the minimalist branding that is subtle and not overpowering compared to other Nike Air Max shoes. Numerous sneakerheads were happy that the Swoosh brand came out with multiple beautiful colorways for the Air Max 720. Several reviewers subjected the Nike Air Max 720 sneaker for durability tests and it survived without the air bubble popping. Most wearers say these modern kits fit true to size. It has nicer build quality compared to the Nike AM270, a few reviewers noted. A couple of reviewers say the tongue stays in place and felt comfier than the previously fused or semi-detached tongue of some Air Max models.